Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for choosing to watch this video today. So I got the packages that I ordered to Dior and the consignment that they sent me. Uh, I promised last time that I would do the unboxing together. So let's get into it. This one, this one I actually paid for it. So I kind of purchased it through Dior, uh, through my essay, it's a massive box. I told you I'm not here to mess around And you've been acting too mysterious You didn't think I'd go, but do you know? You never took me seriously You don't have a time for me I don't have a time to please you I put all your things away You're welcome But kid the second box which this is the, the box is massive so I'm I didn't take it upstairs to the room so I'm just doing this down here in the main living area uh, so consignments for the ones that they don't know what it is uh, because we don't have a Dior boutique in Halifax um, after you build up your trust and history with your and you become an Elliot member they would send you whatever you want and whatever that your essay thinks that it would look good on you or you would like. Um, they would just mail it to you. You have five days to try them on and think and figure out that, do I want this? Do I want to keep it? Do I want to send it back? And then based on whatever you've taken, obviously they would charge your credit card, which they have on file and whatever you return in pristine condition, uh, it's a return. So there would be kind of avoiding your whole return and charge of your credit card. So here is the return label already. So it just makes it, it's a quite simple procedure. The problem is just you have to be home to get this from UPS because they always need a direct signature. This is a return label. Um, this is the range where P. Um, it's a cardigan and uh, it's $4,200 and it's like cashmere, but I could be wrong, so let's see what it is. Oh, sorry. It's a cropped, I feel, it feels like cashmere. So it's like the uh, Paris uh, map on it. I'll try it on and see how it is. It has a zipper. It's super soft. Uh, I believe it's cashmere. There is no way this could be uh, wool. I'll try this on. And this is Kind of the matching sweater, but this is more of like a beige color that was like an off-white uh, sweater or pullover, um, whatever you call it. This is again a Paris map on it too. Uh, Arc de Triomphe right on the back. Uh, doesn't seem to be too long, so I'll try this one on too. It doesn't have any price tags, so I don't know exactly how much this is, but I will just add it to the video when I'm done with these unboxings. Um, this is another piece. I honestly don't know most of them because Elena, my essay, just put them together and send it out to me. I think this is a poncho. Yes. 
This is the poncho with the oblic design. I never had any of their ponchos. It feels like towel-ish, but I've seen them on people with a nice belt, it looks like. So we'll try all these. Well, let me show you guys first. Okay, this is another poncho, and this is the one with the color, the pink one that just came out this summer. And this is its back. Same material, so it's a bit, I would say it's good for fall, like maybe late September, October-ish. Um, yeah, it's not a summer thing, 100%. It's too thick for summer. I'm sorry guys, I'm making a bit mess, but it's just the way it is. So a box, uh, well, I can unbox these. I think this is a pair of white glasses. It's pink and I do love pink. I wanted something to go with the hat. So Helena thought this would be a little. Um, yeah, it's sunglasses. I'm just gonna put these away. <laughs> so much mess. <laughs> Just put this back in the box. Okay, yes, it's the glasses. And I'm just gonna add uh, my prescription to this last two. I checked them before purchasing them to see um, if they can have prescription uh, glasses. i put these over there. So it's I'll just get it closed up later on, but for now, uh, I can't see myself, so I have no idea how does it look like, but um, I'll take a selfie-ish video and see how it is alongside with the hat to see if they go together. Um, okay, it looks nice and has Christian Dior uh, in white outside in gold inside and then two cute stars in gold on the side. Like I said, I'll take a close up of this for you guys. Okay, so put this aside over here. What the oh, I can't think of, there were so many pieces, I can't think of them. Okay, what is this? Oh, I think this is a passport holder with the oblique design. Yeah. I do have a couple of passport holders, but they're a bit thick. So with the small bags or the, you know, the crossbody ones you want to carry all day uh, when you go, uh, you know, as a, on a tour or something, all these uh, city walks, you want to carry a passport. You don't want to leave it behind the hotel. And also, it does have a uh, card holder slots here too, place for cash. Uh, like I said, the other ones I have, they're just a bit thicker than this one. This one is quite slim uh, and does have the new CD on it instead of the old fashioned one. It's all navy, which is my favorite color, and uh, it has one, two, three um four uh slots for credit card cash here passport and it won't take so much space off your tiny uh crossbody and so it won't be too heavy on you um this is a yes um yeah i don't know why i never got one of these from dior i had custom made i had one from louis vuitton but never got from Dior. Okay, let's move on to more ready to wear pieces. I think this is another poncho. These ponchos are, this one has a tag on it, um, 1650 Canadian. I believe this is, oh, this is just, um, 
the Dior design for the navy. I don't know the use out of these so like if you're gonna have an evening supper out or I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll try them on I didn't know how thick they are and uh, I'll just see how they look on me the Alvix design is the one that I thought I would like, but it's a bit too much in your face. This one is a trend. Uh, I don't know. I have to think and see which one I'm going to take. Okay. One more ready to wear piece. Oh, two more. Sorry. This is their um, rain jack. Um, raincoat whatever you call it this is says, says 5,000 Canadian What's the size for this one I think it's a small yep yeah, this is a small size it's a rain jacket mainly and uh, you can kind of get rid of the hat and pack it inside or it's a bit loose uh, it would have come with uh, longer sleeves too, but I wanted to be a bit more summery-ish and had this kind of pouch over here, uh, side pocket with the zip. Um, and you can also tighten up the lower part. Again, I have to try it on to see if I like it and how it looks on me. Seems a bit big, but I don't know how loose it's gonna be. Again, it's a rain jacket, so you don't want it to be tight on you. This is the one that I already love, but again, we'll try it on. So this is, this is cashmere, I'm 100% positive. And it's gray pullover or sweater, uh, 2600 uh, Canadian. It's super light. And then it does have a bow here. And uh, the buttons do have the CD uh, abbreviations here. They will kind of open up too. I have to put it on and see how it is. That's that. I have one more piece. I believe these are... Oh gosh, that was quite a work. Sorry. Okay. So, this... This is a pair of sneakers, I believe. But. Okay, dust bags, and these must be the laces or something. And yep, the sneakers, the oblique design. My size with your is 36. Don't remember. She's, yep, it's 36. It's my actual size. I'll try these on. I thought they would be a bit comfortable for walking around and also as running shoes compared to their flat ones. But we'll just try them on and see. I'll get a close up of all of them, I promise. So you would see all the details instead of me just taking them out of the box. Um, and how much were these? $13.50. Uh, white and gray that's what it says so I'm gonna start trying these on taking some more shots and then um, we'll see which one should I keep which one should I uh, return and I do apologize I just came back from the beach with Gidget so I look a bit beachy um, but I wanted to open these as fast as I could because I knew I had no patience otherwise and that's how I lost the unboxing of other pieces because I would just jump on the box and open up and see what's in it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the um, or unboxing or revealing or whatever you want to call it. I'll try these on, see how it is, and then we'll go from there. Uh, goodbye for now. Jacket. Um, so it does have the food with it. 
and it kind of zip, has a zipper here, zips off, and it kind of makes you be like this, if it makes any sense. So it kind of saves you from the rain. When it goes back, there's a punch over here. Ouch. Is, I don't know how. Okay, good. Wow, it's all the way down here, so it fits quite a fair amount of stuff over there. So the couch is here, literally from here to here. Uh, these are for the hat. You also have laces at the bottom so you can kind of tighten it up. Um, I love it. I don't know what you guys think, but it's a wonderful outfit. Uh, timeless, iconic Dior. Uh, I don't think this is going to ever go out of fashion. And uh, it does have a thing side. Yeah, it does have side uh, pockets too, which so it would be locked with a zipper. And uh, the sleeves are in perfect sizing. This is how it looks from behind. Okay. So what do you guys think about this? So these are the shoes. I like how Unlike the off key and navy, this is quite bright. It's like a daily sneaker. There's a star at the back. This with the Dior question door here, then over here, and the off key pattern, and there's like plastic on it, so it's like water resistant. And uh, yeah, well, I can show you how. Under the camera shoe is. My feet are uh, size 36 in Dior. And these are 36 and they're fine. I think that's a yes too. This is the first poncho, which is just the oblique design in navy. Um, it's not me. I don't see myself wearing it. Um, you can kind of add a belt over here on the top and give it some character. But it's so thick for summer. And it's so thin for winter, so it's like it, like I said earlier, at early October ish. Um, but I don't think you can get too much wear out of this in Canada. Okay, let's try the other two. So this is a summer collection design for the poncho, and I added the belt just to see how it would look like. And that's the hoodie on, which I guess it comes quite like this. Cardian, uh, which has a uh, Paris map on it, and then Christian Dior over here. Um, okay, what do we think about this? It's cropped, you can tell it's quite short. Uh, and I'm 5'2 for reference, so it would be, I would say, very short for tall uh, women or tall people who would wear this and it's fully cashmere it's so soft and it's so thin i think again this is good for fall and for a temperature of like 18 degrees ish so somewhere in california this would be amazing you would wear this 12 months around but in canada really you don't get the wear out of this especially considering it's quite expensive like four two hundred dollars so it would be a no for me but if i was living 
in California or somewhere that it had like a fallish weather uh, in the evening, I would have taken it. It's also casual. You can't, I don't think you can dress this up. It's a casual thing, uh, just like this. You know, with sneakers, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. sweater in the beige color same design Paris map uh, Christian Dior over here asymmetrical design super soft fully cashmere uh, it's cropped so for tall people this would be quite short however the sleeves are a bit long for me so just something to consider this is size 36 and it's already a bit loose over here. So, and if I'm gonna go size smaller than the sleeves and over the bust area, it's gonna be a bit tight. But it's kind of nice, but I don't like it. It's a bit loose on me. It's just the whole thing and the sleeves and everything. It's not just perfect as the hoodie was. So, yeah i don't know what do you guys think should i keep this should i turn it back should i return or i keep and this is the last item this is the cashmere gray sweater um which has a unique design for its color it looks like a bow and then it's like four Carols as a button and then they have gold CD on them This is crop two. I got this escort from Dior Last year I just thought put them together and see how it goes with black shoes I don't know what do you guys think let me see if I zoom in no, I won't show. I will just get close-ups and then you guys can see the buttons. Is it a keep or return? It's quite warm. Just so you guys know, it's quite warm. The sleeves are a bit short and I'm not a tall person at all. This would be nice with a cream or black trousers i would say um black skirt um yeah and it's good just like this too so this is how the design of the collar works and each of the buttons have a gold cd on them it looks like this. Black skirt and seems like you can easily dress it up. And uh, you can also dress it down and wear it with jeans. Either way it looks gorgeous and it's so elegant and chic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put things together and then a couple of mono shots at the end. And let me know which ones should I take and which ones should I return. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.